I'm here at the SimZone at the FM Global Learning Center, and today we're going to talk about the importance of protecting your storage. Most likely, a large majority of materials in your warehouse are combustible, whether they're the products themselves or the containers that you store them in. Full-scale fire testing by FM Global has shown that sealing sprinklers alone may not be enough to bring a fire under control in many rack storage configurations. Let's consider this scenario. You have a multi-level rack storage arrangement within your warehouse, and a fire ignites on a lower tier. The fire spreads horizontally while it also grows vertically. The heat from the fire causes your ceiling sprinklers to activate, but they either took too long to activate or not enough water was delivered through the height of the storage array. The ceiling sprinklers were unable to control the blaze and the fire spreads drastically within your facility. Your operation is brought to a standstill for months. So what's the answer? The most tested and proven solution is the installation of in-rack automatic sprinklers. This is because the location of the sprinklers allows them to operate much quicker compared to ceiling level sprinklers, as well as reduces the height of the storage that water needs to flow down through. While in-rack storage sprinklers are an ideal solution, we know that there are certainly some considerations when it comes to their installation. The first consideration is their potential to be damaged. Our loss history has shown that the average loss where in-rack sprinklers were damaged is small when compared to fire losses. And this risk can be minimized through design and installation. For example, guards can also be fitted to the sprinklers and buffers fixed to the racking where appropriate. Another consideration is related to the cost of installing in-rack sprinklers. The answer to this is simple. Cost-effective installations are available, and the cost is far outweighed by the outcome of a significant fire event. A fire in a warehouse that's not adequately protected could result in the loss of an entire facility, extended business interruption, and likely damage to your reputation. Now, what if your warehouse operations includes the use of open top containers? Well, if it does, then you have just made it extremely difficult for your ceiling level sprinklers to protect your warehouse from a major fire loss. For illustration purposes, I've placed open top containers in our SimZone sprinkler lab. Let's go take a look. Now we're here in the SimZone sprinkler lab. Let's turn on a storage sprinkler and see the impact on these open top containers. Look at all that water being collected in those open top containers. For ceiling level sprinklers to provide adequate fire control, the water needs to reach the fire down through the storage array. The collection of water in open top containers will delay that process. Let's consider a fire test conducted at the FM Global Research Campus. Here you see two single row storage racks side by side. Each rack is protected by a single overhead ceiling level sprinkler. The difference between the two racks is that the containers on the top tier level of the rack on the right have their tops removed. You can see that with closed top containers on the left, the single sprinkler is able to easily control this fire. However, with the open top containers located on the right, the result was an uncontrolled fire. Depending on your storage configuration, one solution could be to cover open top containers. However, if this is impractical for your operation or inadequate for your configuration, in-rack sprinklers will provide water closer to the fire to control that risk. You never know when a fire might strike. The installation of in-rack sprinklers will help protect you from catastrophic fire loss, significant interruption to your operations, 
and protection of your brand reputation. I'll see you next time on No More Risk.